Hello, welcome back. It's book week, hence the t-shirt. This lesson we're going to look at databases, a couple of database questions from a past paper IGCSE. Okay, these are the questions you expect to find at the very end, the very end of a paper two. So, first question, a database table called soft drinks. This is a table, contain, it's called, this is a table called soft drinks. It stores details of the soft drinks sold by a small shop. Fields include name, supplier, container, size in centiliters, number in stock, reorder level, and reordered, whether it's a yes or no. So example data could include cola, was the name of the soft drink, supplier who supplied the cola drink, whether it comes in a can or a bottle, I'm assuming, or another container, how big that particular can is, 330 centiliters, how many they've got in stock, what would be the reorder level when the stock gets down to 15, the, the reorder, has um, cola been reordered? Yes, it has. So, looking at this table here, it says for question A, state whether any of the given fields would be suitable as a primary key and give a reason for your answer. Well, looking at this, name, it could be cola, it could be lemonade, it could be any number of things, okay? Supplier, again, it might not just be one supplier. Container, so as I say, it could be a can or a bottle. Different size bottles, obviously number fields can change all the time, and reordering is a boolean, whether it's yes or no. So none of these contain any kind of unique identifier. So looking at this, and that's a key word, unique, unique identifier. None of these could be deemed unique, so therefore, no, yeah, there is no unique identifier in any field. Okay? So that would give us one mark. No, there is no unique identifier in any of those fields. B, complete the structured query language SQL statement to return the number of cans, yeah, the shop has in stock. So where container equals can. Assuming that container equals can, we're going to select a number, return a number. So I'm going to select sum. Okay, now I've got brackets here. Um, and then I want number, here we go, number in stock, yeah, from the soft drinks table, soft drinks, where, so let's return the number of cans um, the shop has in stock, where container, yeah, equals can, okay, not cans, can. Okay, so select the sum, okay, the total number in stock from soft drinks where the container equals can. Okay, so it'll sum up every time we get to, every time we get some data where there's a container is a can, it's going to sum up the number in stock. Okay, seems straightforward. That is worth six marks. Okay, obviously we need to know about sum in terms of SQL. Okay, nice and easy six marks. The next one, and six marks, remember the paper is out of 70? Remember the paper is out of 70, so that's what, about 8%? Yeah. Um, next question. Let's have a little look at this. This one again, two, four, five, six, seven marks. Okay. So a television subscription service has a, num has a new database table called contract. To store details of their subscribers' contracts, the table contains these fields. The um, contract number, let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, the contract number, the contact, the contract number, for example, CT567, that looks like a unique number field. Months, the length of the contract in months, for example, six months. And date, the date, um, the contract finishes, for example, 30th of November 2024. Um, news, 
the new service, whether that's yes or no. In fact, all of these look at yes or no, so these are all Boolean. News, Boolean. Movie, Boolean. Sport, does it have a sports service? Yes or no, Boolean. Junior, is there a children's surface, surf service? Yes or no, Boolean. So I identified, identified a field that will be the most appropriate primary key for this table. Well, it's obviously the first one because that looks like a unique identifier. Okay, Boolean certainly can't be. A date field can't be. And um, months, obviously, a month of contract. I'm sure there's going to be plenty over on a six-month contract. So let's load, let's put in here contract number. Okay, complete the table to identify the most appropriate data type for these fields in contract. Okay, complete the table to identify the most appropriate data type for these fields in contract. So contract number would be um, a text or an alphanumeric. Okay, because alphanumeric is alpha, um, which is generally letters, numeric numbers. Okay, alpha numeric. Okay, and um, months is obviously a number, whole number, so that would be an integer. End date would be date slash time. Okay, and sport would be a Boolean. This is yes or no. Boolean. Okay, so that's three marks. Now we've got three more marks here, but we've just, oh no, there's more marks, two look. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight marks. Okay, eight marks. So, C, explain the purpose of these structured query language statements. Select some um, months from contract, okay? What is that doing? Well, it, well, it's calculating the calculates the total, I'm going back to sum, of months in the what kind of what's the name of it in the yeah contract in the contract table okay and number two select count news from contracts where news from contracts where news okay well, what on earth does that mean where news well, because it says where news, I'm assuming it means where news is yes. So this is going to count the number. So this is going to count the number of contracts. Yeah. So count the number of contracts where news is yes. Um, true. Okay, so that should get us, yeah, news, yes or no, Boolean. Contract number, okay. And then finally, complete the SQL, SQL statement to find the contract numbers of the subscribers that take both news and sports services. So we've got, con so we've got contract numbers. That is one here, look, contract number. So select, Contract number, okay, from contract where news equals true and sport equals true brackets and true equals yes. I'm just going to put that in just so we know. Okay, because it is um, defined as yes and no, but obviously yes equals is true, like I've put here. Okay, so select contract number from contracts where news is true and sport is true. Um, that would get you full marks in both of those database questions. Okay, I don't think it really gets any more difficult than that for databases. 
if you don't know a great deal about SQL, I recommend using something like W3Scores and doing the SQL module on there. That will give you a good grounding into what we're doing here. It's an easy 8 to 10% of your paper. But that is it. So thank you very much indeed. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.